never has the term fashion shoot been more fitting. Instead of the usual sporting catalogues filled with models looking gorgeous pretending to be proficient shots, here we have our proficient shot being a model. And what a fine specimen he is. Yeah, I'm feeling handsome. Part of the deal today is that in between drives, Crow has to strip off and don some of Jack Pike's extensive new shooting and lifestyle range. But in order to hinder his shooting, they're messing around in the wardrobe department. They've given me a shirt, a small shirt. I can hardly move it. But I think that was done intentionally. Yeah, we're doing the new, the new catalogue. We're just doing some of the game stuff today. Shirts, ties, gilets, uh, new socks. It's just all about game shooting today. The Chinese water deer in front, though. The visibility's not brilliant today. How will that affect things today? Uh, it's not too bad. I've shot him worse. Um, they just fly a little bit blind for a start, but be interested to see how it goes. The fact is, they shot the catalogue last week with me, but just for fun, they've brought along Dax the photographer. He looks the part, but with not a single memory card in sight, he's firing blanks, which can't be said of Crow. Some chap called Paul Childerley is hosting the day on his ground in Bedfordshire. A couple of the drives will offer pheasant, partridge and duck, so Andy has a selection of game ball, steel and lead. Paul's informed me that um, this is a mixed drive. It's a mixture of uh, pheasants and duck, so to cover myself, I'm going to be using game ball super steel. They're in five, 32 grams. I've used them before on the pigeons, shot them really well. I used them on ducks many a time, so I've got loads of faith in them. Uh, they're faster cartridge, so, but I'm pretty sure I'll pretty soon find the line of them, so I'll pretty soon get over that. This particular drive is a stonker. The circling ducks overhead mean you're spinning every which way instead of looking straight ahead. As Crow has eyes in the back of his head, thanks to all that pigeon shooting, it means little escapes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an unusual drive because it's a small pond at the back and there's another pond down the uh, far end of the uh, field. And the ducks come off there really well actually, they're circling everywhere, go back over top the tall pines behind. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good drive, especially in this weather. Weather's thick fog, um, not the best for shooting, but I think they're flying well. Uh, Mr Crow seems to be performing. In between his clothes changes and his uh, makeup, he's doing well. <laughs> There you go, mate. Thank you. No worries. Once we've got the, the line of the cartridge, the cartridges are a bit different, so once I've got the line of the cartridge, you know, I'll do all right then. But yeah. But no, that was a good drive. Good drive. How many shots do you reckon you had? I uh, must have had 45. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, about 45 shots there, so. But missed a few for a start, but once, like I say, once I've got the line of the cartridge, or oh, the feel of the cartridge, I was doing all right then. Mr Childerley is having a good season, but has played with his pheasant varieties this year. Um, we trained, changed the stock of the pheasants this year to um, Kansas. Um, and yeah, it's, it's made, a, made, made a world of difference. They're flying really well. Um, the partridge at Becker and Joe is fly well anyway, but the pheasants just, just it's made a difference to the shoot really. How do you make that decision? How do you think, right, yeah, I'm going to go for Kansas this year? Um, <sighs> good question really. It's, it's a brave decision because the, the Americans are renowned for wandering. Um, so, you know, it, it, it puts your percentage of, of returns down, but, you know, you get better flying birds, so actually you shoot more birds of better quality. So it's, yeah, it, it's, it's a gamble. It's all gamble, really. Um, yeah, well, so how many choices have you really got? How many sort of options did you think you have out, seriously, um, for this, this type of ground? For this ground, I mean, we tried several different types. Um, I'm not going to name any because people get a bit touchy about different birds fly better than this, that and the other. Um, the old days we used to have uh, fen crosses um, and they, they flew really well. Uh, and we had Americans, like the blue back things a few years ago, they, they flew as well, but the returns were very, very poor. Um, but so far so good these, this year with these, these new ones. They're a bigger bird? No, slightly smaller, um, very skittish in the pens as well. We, we put them in the release pens and they wanted to come out straight away. Um, literally Scott the keeper, he, he put them in one of the pens and you know a couple of thousand birds and they were, they were actually on the, on the toes like two days later.
There's another drive before lunch and there is a bit of bird poaching going on between Andy and the neighbouring gun, Glen. For this shoot, Crow is using the more familiar Beretta 692. It looks smart on a game shoot and the playground. After lunch, we have enough light for two more drives. The day should deliver a bag around the 200 mark and the last drive will put a lot of birds over the guns. It's true, the birds are over the guns, but some guns are clearly taking liberties. You need to know your neighbour very well to shoot what is blatantly someone else's bird. But as it's been going on all day, it's a suitable ending to what has been a relaxed and enjoyable shoot with Paul and Jack Pike. It's been giving me a lot of grief all day. It's, uh, last, uh, last drive of the day, I thought I'd uh, get my own back. Um, dropped several at his feet. I've dropped several the other side of him. But it's all in, all in fun, having a laugh. So, but no, it's, that was a good drive, that one for me. Even if it was only just dropping them at his feet. If you want to find out more about Paul's stalking and game shooting, go to childerlysporting.co.uk and for more information about the new Jack Pike range, or maybe to order a catalogue with Mr Crow as centre spread, go to jackpike.co.uk.